blackberries. Not just for cobbler anymore. Hey, it's Brian Laid back with another beer review you can use. Also known as Brain Muffin. One of these days I'll remember my name's Brain Muffin on these videos. Anyway, so up today, you know, Alltech has been really busy doing some very interesting beers. They've used some local honey down there in Lexington. Now we have a porter as opposed to their stout. And it's aged in bourbon barrels, just like their stout, but also with blackberries. And there's some natural and artificial coloring added. I don't know all, what all the, the, you know, that entails. But this is because they don't tell you on the, on the labels anymore. It probably has videos on their website. They've been doing a lot of stuff with the honey ale on, on Facebook and things. I've seen that come up quite a bit. So here's a, a good one. Sure, you know, it's everything so far, everything I've ever had of theirs, the beer wise, has been phenomenal. The pumpkin ale, the honey ale, just the regular bourbon barrel, uh, the regular um, Kentucky ale, obviously the bourbon barrel ale, the bourbon barrel stout. Oh, always so good. They do very good. One of these days, I'm actually going to try their bourbon because they actually do have bourbon. So, what do we got? So, I imagine we're going to get some. Um, now, a porter is kind of a, a thing between a brown ale and a stout. Now, there's also uh, stout porters and things like that, and that's kind of how those things developed. Now, years ago, when I was starting to get into home brewing, one of the things that people said, and they still do, that there's no difference between a stout and a porter, and that is not true. So, I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out what's the difference. So, on the nose, we got nice, bl um, I keep saying blueberry, blackberry. Hmm. Oh my gosh, that is a very interesting combination because the blackberries, it's almost syrupy at first. And then the bourbon, the bourbon's going to give it some uh, bitterness, and it sure does. Uh, kind of out just about like between mid-mouth and the back of the mouth, like right in between it. As it goes back, so many different flavors playing there. You have the sweetness of the blackberries, yet almost like you're sucking on a blackberry. And then, hello, bourbon. I, you know, it's almost like a blackberry that's been dipped in, you know, not it's been soaking in bourbon. Oh my goodness! I imagine this is a pretty high alcohol content too. I don't know if tapped, uh, untapped says, but this is definitely a sipping beer. Wish it had more head. That would be nice, but it's a little on the cold side. But yeah, on the nose you got blackberry and just a little hint of something else. Like, you know, it's the bourbon, but. That's because I know what it is. Yeah, I mean that is that is stupendous. This would be great as a float. Uh, you could do more with the blackberries and do like a blackberry sherbet or a blackberry chocolate chip. Or I would do is a chocolate ice cream that had chunks of blackberry in it. I don't even know if anybody makes something like that. But that's what I would do. Or just drop some chocolate ice cream in it, maybe put a little blackberry syrup or something if you don't have it. This is definitely a beer that, that is saying, I want to be part of a float. And uh, wow, it's just, there are very few ways to describe this beer other than really good. Because um, it's very unique. I've had stuff with, with various fruit and blackberries, but taking a porter and a fairly dark one, so it's got that nice brown undertone, and then it's got some reddish that's probably from the blackberries. Uh, the juices and probably maybe the artificial um, coloring to get that. That's got a nice deep, almost purple brown. It's hard to kind of describe. Probably can't see it in the camera very well, but holding up to the light, it's very good. And the bourbon is not really, really powerful. It's there, it's on the back of the tongue, it's a little hint of it in the nose, and it stays kind of finished with the bourbon, a little bit more than blackberry. It's really making me belchy, I'm not sure why. But this is definitely a five out of five for me, and that's what I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna check it in uh, to untapped. And yeah, so let me know if you guys have tried this beer. If anybody's tried this, uh, it's, wow, well, this is really something else, because I don't know of anybody else that has a blackberry porter with bourbon like this. I've had some, they have a pumpkin beer, and I've had various different types of pumpkin beer, and, and having a rating it with the bourbon is one thing, but this is to me quite unique. I don't know if anybody's done anything like this. 
yet. People will probably copy it and we'll have cherries and other things in, in bourbons, but that is really interesting flavor combination. It's very, it makes work very good. It's not like eating a uh, cobbler or a pie or anything like that. It's kind of like you took a bunch of blur, blue blackberries and you dumped them in uh, some bourbon for six weeks and now you're eating them. Um, that's the closest thing I can say. There's no real malt backbone. There's just a hint of porter. Now that bitterness may also be some of the hops in the porter. Because uh, that's where the hop bitterness is supposed to the The porter is supposed to have hop bitterness in it. Not a lot, but some, depending on what you want. But it tones down real nice. Really great nose. My only complaint is that the head isn't very good. It would be nice to have a nice foamy head on there. This would also be something, that, you know, this is probably bright tank carbonated. Uh, something like this as a Belgian may actually be something pretty good, and I might investigate that in my own home brewing. So there we go. All right, thanks for clicking like, thanks for subscribing, thanks for all the comments. i got some other beers to get to, and we'll get, you know, uh, over time. I'm going to do me more of these as we go on. Uh, but have you tried this? Have you tried any other Alltech beers? What do you think? You got a food pairing because I'm at a loss. Other than having this as a dessert, this is like a great dessert beer as a float. I don't know if I'd pair it with blackberry cobbler or something, but that I mean that might be something to try. Um, you know, I might get my mom to make some and had some of this beer with it. I don't know. All right, thank thank you, and see you next time. Cheers. Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Black, oh, Imperial Porter with natural flavor added. <laughs> Bung Chow Ping. Now my ears are ringing, thanks. <laughs>